Welcome to the Empire Brothers Rampage, and welcome back to my Dwarves of Kazadoom campaign for the Divine Conquer with version 5 mod from Medieval 2. We're going to continue with that draft from last time. Well, right now, we've been able to place our control, take over control of Fenholm, and we're going to continue destroying the uh, horrible goblins, who, at the moment, still interesting that they've actually been able to take Bjorn's Halls. I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to try and take that for myself right now, or kind of avoid it for the moment. It wouldn't be the worst idea for me to take it, either to hold it for myself, or to give over back to the Veilsmen, like sell it over to them, because the longer they stay alive, uh, the better for us, because they can kind of keep uh, Dol uh, Dol oh my God, under control. As I know right now, I'm going to have to probably start trying to deal with them, possibly. I know once this finishes up, I want to get this built up so I can at least get these guys as free upkeep. But also, it's not the worst idea for me just to immediately start going for the garrison, because I know I'm going to need that, so that we can get some better Our defenses turn. around here, because I'm expecting them to attack us. Also, oh, it's going to grow really soon. It should grow uh, this turn and next turn, and then we can probably get some actual walls there, so we might actually want to get that first. Um, but we're going to be keep trying to push on into them. I know right now I've got, like, what, so far one spy up here. I only got two. You're over here by Dol Guldur right now to kind of watch over them for the most part. And I actually was uh, suggested that I was reminded I technically should make sure to bring my diplomat over to the Iron Hills as well. This is another area that might actually also give me reinforcements similar to Arid Luin and also Erebor by bringing it over to you guys. Okay, because this is the Iron Hills, so we'll bring you over there too, because technically that will also work. So we'll bring you guys over there. I do know um, I'm probably going to have you now that we've taken Fenholm. Uh, I'll turn you back around next turn probably and have it so that we can actually start kind of lighting up more of this land. Because at the moment, uh, my spy can't get any closer, but I want to see what's in Goblin Town. Because I don't think... I don't have vision over here right now, but I think at the moment, because I know this is still controlled by the elves, who actually surprisingly I didn't realize that they had two family members, uh, faction leaders. So it's probably the one over here that was murdered, honestly. Because uh, at the moment I can't see... They still have this land over here, but they might have lost Mythlond. Oh wait, no, that is... No, that, that's still elves. Yeah, that's still elves there. So I thought they might have lost Mythlond, and that's why they possibly lost uh, one of their family members. Let's see, we got another Aximus guild here in Fenholm. I will accept this. Um, Moria is prospering. Good! Now it's actually so it's showcasing that we are prospering now at this point. I love that. So I'm not talking to Gondabad. Goddamn, stop asking me. Um, so you ready to upgrade? Nice. Okay, so it was just needing one more turn. Um, technically I want to wait for this to finish. If I wait for this to finish, this will actually take less time. So let's wait on that. We'll have to start building it up next turn. Repair complete in Fenholm. There we go. You guys now need to just keep trying to convert things over here. But now I will have you start building new watchtowers from these areas. So let's have you start building up some watchtowers around here. Start trying to light these areas up for right now. And then are there mercenaries around here? Uh, there are none technically at the moment right now. It's kind of annoying. That's okay though. Um, well, let's have it so at the moment. Let's see. So... I could grab a couple of random units around here. Like, maybe some of the volunteers send them over there, or we could just wait a little bit longer until we can actually get some more troops to watch over that area. Ooh, I do want more reclaimers, though. Because we can now also... Oh, the Sons of the Fallen are available now, too. I love it. Also, we might be able to retrain these guys um, with the way stations. So let's send you guys back over here and see if we can... Ah, yes, I can. So, yeah, we can retrain you guys over there. I'll have it so what I'm going to do is... Let me grab... I'm gonna grab these guys, and then I'll grab like you two, um, and I'm gonna send these guys over to try and help out as a garrison, I would say, um, or basically, so we can try and send you guys over here so we have some extra troops, or maybe I can send you here. No, nah, we'll send you up this way. And who are you? Oh, those are elves. Okay, those are elves right there, so that's fine right there. We don't want to worry about that. Then I need to make sure that my spy now... Also, I do love how many suggestions there were for Goblin Town and what we should rename it. And at the moment... Doesn't look the worst. I will probably go for Methelberg first. Oh, they've got I'm gonna there. Stick you. Yeah, because we probably want to go for Methelberg first, I'd say. At the moment, they still have a full stack army in there. As long as they're not insanely high quality, it's not that big of an issue for us. So as long as I can get like some guys, I kind of want to actually send maybe you guys up this way as free upkeep, just so it's a bit faster. So you guys can kind of try and make your way up there. Um, I might send you guys over here. I probably should just send you to Fenholm too. So it'll be about two to three turns until I feel like we are safe to kind of make my way out of here. I could just leave now. But I probably should have waited at least for something to be ready here. So we have at least a little bit more men. Gunnabad's leader is dead. Interesting. Who killed him? Do I have vision over that area technically? Ah, uh, they didn't take the actual Mount Gundabad itself. 
Dunlin is expanding, so they're doing better for themselves. I don't want to see that. And I don't like that the goblins are still sending troops around down this way. So, you technically still border me. I hate that. Is that technically... That's technically Goblin Town. So until I take Goblin Town, they're going to keep trying to go for Kazadoom uh, East. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted. I need 2,700 gold for that. I want to just save up for that right now. Ooh. Hall the Seven available. So that allows me to get Arid Loon Infantry Pikemen and I can retrain Airport Infantry. Also gives me another free upkeep to unit slot. Ooh, do I want to get that right now? Oh, it's pretty cheap actually too. Is there another level to that building? Mithra Mines, Unique Buildings, Honor Unique Buildings. Hall of the Seven. No, it's just the, it's just the one level. I, I'd say, yeah, let's grab that. It's pretty cheap for that. Also, um, Aerie is good now. We can now upgrade the walls here. Yep, takes one less turn to now build. So we get the walls first. After that, I'm going to grab the practice range, and then we'll grab the garrison. That way, we at least have units that are free upkeep around here. Um, okay. You need to be careful, so you're going to make your way over here. March. All of you make your way over to Arrowy for right now. March. You need to keep building watchtowers for right now. And I'm going to hope that you guys are fine. Let's see, so vision movements. So we'll have to go. We're going to go around this way. Because that way you're not going to be in range. Once I get these units over here, I think we'll start moving out. Because as long as there's no mercenaries... I still can't grab anybody. Uh, I'd say we'd want to move out after we get those guys. Because I can move out now. Part of me wants to. But also, I don't want to leave a unit behind. Because you guys will be... Oh, you'll take you two turns there. Because I can just I can just bring you... Oh, you can't even get there next turn, too. <laughs> I want somebody. Uh, we can, let's just move out now. Let's just move out. Let's just leave you guys, because you're pretty weak. I'll start moving out. Because I need to start pushing into Goblin Town. Otherwise, they're not going to stop. So, let's make my way up here. Uh, they've got a bit around here. I'm probably going to be attacked during the end turn. <laughs> That's fine, we've got strong Dwarven brothers around here, so they should be fine. Zagkala, I'm going to have you... Let's see, do I want you to get your better mining complex? Actually, I should probably have you upgrade your pub so you can get the uh, reduced cost as well. Also, you can get a way station right here too. Um, yeah, let's get the pub. Get the pub upgrade there. And then the other building I can get right now is, yeah, Kazadoom just already got their thing. And then Arrowy, yeah, we already are building up the walls for you guys. And, um, oh, hello, you guys are back. Let's see, because I do... Also, uh, you're about to finish your thing in, yeah, two turns there. Also, why didn't you actually get replenishment? I think it's just the armor was an upgrade, but hey, now that I know I can retrain you guys over in Kazadoom East, I can just send you over there to be retrained for right now. Um, did quite a truce in there at war with each other. That's not good. Back up here now. Oh, hey, look at that! Yeah, no, no, I can go to the Iron Hills, too. Perfect! So we should be able to get some reinforcements from around here, too. Okay, so as soon as I leave, they, of course, decide to start trying to siege Venholm, of course. Um, Osfoot has been besieged. Interesting. Yeah, so you guys are seeing that, which is actually a pretty decent force here, so I'm gonna have to have it so the Balin's gonna be making his way back around this way. I can't get over here with these reinforcements just yet. I'm gonna group you guys up, though. You can group up there. Yeah, you guys are making your way towards Kazadoom East right now. I don't appreciate that. <sighs> really good team. But hey, you guys keep making your way over here. And also, I do need to make sure, like, this guy... I'm gonna bring these two units over as well, since you're not free upkeep right now. Bring these guys all over to Kazadoom East right now, because they're going to be making their way over. You're siege me, as we kind of thought. Um, we've now reached the Iron Hills. There we go. So we've made contact with the Iron Hills via our agent. Uh, they were expecting the worst, so the news of our victory came as a massive surprise. So they will be sending some... Yep, they're going to send some support. So let's hope that the Lord stays true to his word, and he does in time have many Dwarven Fivers from the Far East to ready help defend Kazadoom. Hopefully. Um, construction Port Brewery. So we were able to finish that in Fenholm. Good. Perfect timing, too. Because now we're going to have to have it so that... I'm still just going to double check. Still waiting to see if this mercenary is actually going to be here. Still not, for some reason. Oh, but you know, let's turn back around here, and let's kill these guys. So this is not the best army here. They do have some wargs. Yeah, that should be pretty good for us. So I'll have it so you're going to be commanded by me, and then we're going to push on in here. Probably going to want to have it so that what I'm going to have to do, that one army that's right next to Kazadoom East right now, that one will have to be just defeated at Kazadoom, because they're probably going to start trying to siege us in a turn or two. Um, the other army, there's another army west of here. I want to try and see if I have enough movement after this fight to go after them and kill them as well. Because I feel like we're going to have to, like, slowly kill everything up to um, to Goblin Town before they actually let me get there. Because otherwise, they're probably just going to keep trying to harass me. I could just ignore them and just go straight for, um, just go straight for Goblin Town. And I kind of want to do that. 
But I know um, the more damage I take, the less likely I'm going to be able to do that. But let's have you guys kind of like group up here. Archers behind the Ballista. We'll still move up just a little bit. And then my elites, I'll have uh, you guys on the flanks ready to kind of go around. So right there. And then you guys over here. Strange battle. And then let's see if they're going to advance onto me or if they're going to um, pull back. Because they might go after my one random unit that's on the map. Yes, they are. <laughs> Fucking course you guys are. Okay, so uh, they are kind of... Yeah, they're trying to walk over that towards them. So let me just keep trying to follow along. You need to be out of the group there. Uh, you guys just keep trying to move forward. I'm going to have you just sit there. Now, I do kind of feel bad that these guys are kind of sacrificial pawns as they are just rushing straight over to me. Uh, my army is trying to get in position. You guys are actually kind of keeping pace with them. I've been able to get a couple shots off with my archers. So you guys are trying to keep pace with them, trying to catch up to them. Yeah, you can see all the corpses here from the guys I have attacked. So at the moment right now, yeah, you guys are being attacked. They did actually get in melee with us here, which is actually better for us. You guys should be able to do a little bit more damage there. The rest of my army is slowly making their way on up. You guys sh ideally should be pretty tired from all of this running around. I think I'm probably... Oh, actually, you guys are... Let's see, so we're going to want to set you up. Because they've stopped. Okay, I need to adjust you guys properly. So just like right here. About, yeah. That way it's a little bit closer to where you're at right now. Because they are moving up. So yeah, form up guys here. They're bringing their forces on over. The wolves are trying to get on over here. So if you guys group up up there. The and then now they're attacking us. Yeah, you guys just chuck things the at this uh, war cab unit unit at this point. Because now they're making their run in. 11% of the forces are already dead. They should now start turning their attention over to us. You guys are winning against those war scouts. Hopefully the rest of their army will then ignore that unit so it does survive. And then all of them should be coming over towards us. Charles bodyguard, where is he? He's right there. So he's that one right there. Uh, Ballista, you're about in position. So let's have you specifically if you can. Uh, where is he? There we go. Bodyguard. Focus on him. At the moment right now, uh, you guys kind of form up, start trying to chuck things at the war scouts. 16% of the forces are dead now at this point in time. Uh, don't focus on this one rider right here. Oh, Ballista, Ballista, stop that. Stay where you are, shoot what you can. Uh, those are good basic infantry units. Yeah, some of their units are still trying to focus on you guys. Please ignore them. Yeah, because a fourth of their army is now dead at this point. You guys kind of reform back up and get your axes ready. Okay, they have now lost about half the enemy army at this point. Uh, their wargs are trying to focus on my guys on the left side still. Kind of trying to focus on the right a little bit. Get you guys to focus on this goblin band. You'll slaughter them. So far, yeah, it's two-thirds are almost dead. General's bodyguard is right here. He's just chilling. He's about 30 guys right now. Um, I'll have you guys try and join on in here and here to help kill him. Because they see some of their archers back here. I'll send you guys up into melee with them, I'd say. Uh, you're good there. I don't need you to send reinforcements to help out with you guys. I'll help focus on just the archers right now. I don't have any cav right now, so I'm not going to be able to run them down. But hopefully, um, I actually kind of want you guys to not kill the general just yet. So we have more time to try and kill as many of them as possible. Yeah, we killed the general a little too soon. So they did run off the map and I was not able to get the Magic 85. That's fine though. So we have at least been able to slaughter these guys. And now I'm going to hopefully have enough movement to hit the other army that I saw west of here. Because if I can, we can kind of keep clearing them out a little bit, slowly but surely, then make our way over to Goblin Town. I do still need some reinforcements a little bit, because I feel like I kind of want to try and have at least a full-stack army. My economy can at least field one full-stack army right now, and so I want to try and keep making sure I send reinforcements over here. Also, just makes it easier for us to keep pushing out of areas if we're able to properly then garrison them um, before we leave. So hopefully we can try and get a couple more reinforcements. Um, I know... There was the two guys I just sent to Aerowee. I want to just try and send those guys up north, too. Because I think they're okay at the moment with what they've got. I see all you guys. Ben Holmes a little beat up there. Let's see. I can't actually, like, merge that guy with any of my men in here, sadly. I wish I could. Um, I would honestly... Let's see, because you're, you're going to be able to make your way in here next turn. I'll have you watch over, Fenholm. I don't have enough movement to get over to you guys. I want to be able to. You're a half-stack. I've got a little bit of men in here. Definitely want to get these reclaimers over here. Um, I kind of want to send some more deeping guards, send some more of you guys over if possible. Um, at the moment, we'll possibly have it, so basically what we'll do is next turn, you'll watch over this area. 
I'll start sending you and uh, the guy inside Fenholm right now back. Um, I would say let's get the better pub, possibly. Let's see what you guys are right now. So it's at 8%. I probably should get the Stone Mason's Hall, though, so we can try and upgrade that, reduce costs. And are we... These guys try and make your way up towards the army. So try and make your way up and around. Go go the kind of longer distance so you're not going to be attacked by possibly this army or this army. I will have it so that you... Go into Fenholm, because then I can just send those guys down next time. I'm going to move over here for right now. Just so we're like, hey, you know I'm here. You can try and go for Fenholm if you want. And then next turn, I want to be able to try and have it so that we can send these guys back to Kazadoom East to be retrained. All right, they're coming for my fort once again. Let's see if we can do this uh, once more. Um, they do have just a ladder and a ram. If I can focus them onto the ladders, I think we have a pretty good chance here. So what I'm going to do is I'll be using my archer again because they are the fastest out of my units, sadly. Um, and I'll be using them to try and get them to drop the ram. And hopefully, similar to last time, hopefully I can get them to drop it, leave it alone, and then focus their attention onto the ladders. Because as long as I can do that, my armies will have a pretty good chance around here. Especially now that I have a ballista. So the ladder will probably try and go for over here. You are the ones with armor piercing, so I want you guys up front first. My ballista, I'll try and I'll have to adjust you guys later. Um, but for right now, at least, get you guys off the walls. You're probably fine where you are. Yeah, like right there. You'll be able to do some decent damage. And then I can have you guys up here as well. This unit then needs to be the one that's up here, ready to go. To be able to try and run out and get them off of the ram. So start the battle. Start running out. Start trying to get them off of that. And then my ballista, try and adjust here. So you're right there. So if we need to, we can open up. Oh, technically they're not going to be able to actually get the ladder over to this spot. I just realized that. They definitely won't be able to. So like, oh, that's why they didn't actually try and utilize the ladders last time. Pro more than likely. So yeah, you guys rush up here. Try and get them to drop the ram. I don't like that you're bringing the pikes up first. Come on, come on, come on. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Drop it, drop it, drop it. There we go. Come on. Yeah, pull back. You're losing a lot more guys than last time. Drop the fucking ram. Drop the goddamn ram. I swear to God. There you go. Okay, now run away. It's good to see that my Butte Border Dispute... Butte. It's good to see that my border disputes with the Dunlendings are going well still. Um, decent amount of damage to them. Not as much as last time, but still a third of their army in damage. Uh, it's mainly the Beast Hunters and the Ballista that got that damage. My Travelers did, like, nothing. I think it's because you guys are trying to focus. Uh, I probably should have let you guys specifically focus on their weak units. Because those guys don't have as much armor, so you probably would have done a lot more damage to them specifically. That's fine, though. Um, I'll have to make sure that my Beast Hunters, I need to send you guys to be retrained, and I'll send another fresh one back over this way, because at the moment right now, this is doing really well. It's us allowing us to keep doing some more damage to them every once in a while, and uh, prevents them from attacking Kazadoom West, so I can keep building it up. Honestly, once we get, um, and actually, I should be able to do that this turn, um, once I can get a catapult into Kazadoom West, I am not opposed. Actually, even here, I could just put that in here, actually, because... Right now, it seems like they always like to grab a catapult, a ram, and a ladder set. And the ra the ladders are always busted, where they don't actually utilize them, and they can't utilize them at all. So they have to go through the gates. So I could just have it so that we instead grab a catapult, put that into that fort, and make sure... Oh, hey guys! You try and rush on in through the gates, and you get slaughtered. Fury of the steps. Oh man, are the canned now actually having their doomstack trigger? Trigger? Interesting. Uh, Hornberg is siege. God damn it, it always is just me doing... Oh no, there's something going well. Something going well for the good guys. No, never mind. I take that back. I immediately take that back. No, but you guys are able to now get a catapult over here. Beautiful. So I'll try and grab that. Um, Kazdoom West now has better roads too. I like that. Um, I'll teach you guys your feast hall here next. Oh, you guys can also get the hall of the seven here too. Both sides can get it. Nice. You know, we'll get the, the feast hall thing first. That way we can reduce the cost on stuff. And then I'll be able to try and have it so that we can then get... Um, I want to get the mining network here. Because we don't have the mines over here at all. We have the, all with the basic one. But I want to get better mines over here at some point. For now though, uh, you guys yeah, kind of just keep grouping up around here. Yep, you guys are slowly but surely making your way over here, just like I kind of thought you were going to be doing to. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... Oh, hello! Okay, so first and foremost, let's just see if... Um, well, first and foremost, I'm going to bring you guys back this way. You want to go back to Kazadoom. I'm going to bring you back over there where you're trained. You're going to go that way. Um, mercenaries? No mercenaries? Okay. And then are they... They're fine with just you. So I can actually then bring these units with me 
Um, that way we have a slightly larger army. We can now try and have a Zulti. This is... Oh, they've got fucking Flame Wranglers. I wish I had Cav. I wish I had Cav, but I don't have Cav at all. Hmm. That bugs me. Okay. Keep making your way up this way, though. Okay, let's fight them. We got three units of them. Three of those damn things. Ah, uh, not what I want, but the rest of this army is not that bad. It's just those fucking flame wranglers. Okay. We should be okay. I will hope that we take minimal damage here. That's my hope. Um, we'll have to kind of spread our army out a little bit more than we do usually. And I'll try and have it so that what we can do is I'll focus my elites on trying to run straight up towards the Flame Wranglers. So infantry just goes straight at them, just tries to engage in melee. Archers, you're going to try. I also might be able to snipe them with my ballistas, actually. So if we can, I'll try and destroy the Flame Wranglers with my ballista. I have a ton of archers, oh my god. I have, uh, yeah, seven archers here. Yep, that's a lot of archers. I like it. Wait, okay, let's grab you. I'll put you guys over on the left side because, again, we're going to kind of spread out here. So you guys kind of go over here. All of my axe throwers on the right side over here. It's probably good, like, right there. Then my infantry. I don't have a lot of my elites, but still, you guys have higher quality than them, so it should be okay. But yeah, kind of spread out here. And then all of you guys kind of spread out a little bit more. It's like, boom, boom. You guys kind of blob up a little Actually, don't blob up a little bit more. <laughs> no. Um, you guys kind of over here. You guys right here. And then archers, I think. Uh, we'll spread you guys out too. But yeah, start the battle. And then ideally, what you're going to do is you need to try and focus on the flame wranglers. Infantry, uh, rush forward, honestly. Just kind of yeah, run on up here this way. Same with you guys. Go around the sides. Same with you guys over here as well. Archers. They are kind of making their way towards us. So I'm going to have my archers just stand where they are. But ballistas try and specifically target flame wranglers. So you need to try and snipe those if you can. That's ideally what we can do, because that's the unit that can do the most damage to us uh, entirely. So we have to try and get rid of those guys as soon as possible. Okay, we're in melee! My guys have been able to just br uh, bridge the gap. 10% of the forces are dead so far. Um, we've been able to take out one of the Flame Wranglers so far. They're actually kind of trying to hit my Flame Wranglers with the, uh... Or, sorry, my, my Ballistas with the Flame Wranglers. So that's what they're trying to focus on. You guys keep focusing on these, uh, scouts. You need to keep trying to run over here and get in range. Oh, please, no. Spread out, spread out, spread out. I don't like those shots there. At least they kind of missed by a mile. That's good for it. And now at least some of my archers, um, are not firing. That'd be you two. You guys try and get a little bit closer. Just taking a little bit of damage. Yeah, just run straight in up there. Run, run, run. Let's see, you guys are fighting some wargs over here. That's okay. Third of the enemy army is just about dead right now, so off to a good start. Ballista still hasn't been able to break in another Flame Wrangler just yet. That's okay. Just get on over back here and hit that Flamer. And they have 100 guys in that unit? Wow. I did not realize they had so many. Oh, yep, they're throwing more. Spread out, spread out. They're missing good shot. They're missing shots so far. That's off to a good start. You guys, okay, those ones are dead. So you try and hit this flame wrangler now. Okay, they got one hit on my axe guard here, sadly. Um, but I haven't been able to. At least one set of flame wranglers has broken. We've been able to break them. Trying to hit this other one now with my ballistas. Um, I might be able to get in range if anything at all. At least with my general over here, so you can stop them from firing. Number wise, they've lost about half the army so far now. At this point in time. So archers, hey you guys. They were shaking there. She should be okay at the moment. But we've at least avoided most of the disaster with us destroying the flame wranglers. The general's over here too. So right now he's about to die. Please let me get the match 85 though before I kill him. Okay, so he's running now. Uh, am I going to be able to catch him is the question. Because they're now breaking at this point in time. Infantry, all of you guys on AI commands now at this point in time. We've now been able to kill 94% of their forces. They're now running. Um, can we capture him though at least? I want to try and see if we can capture him. Some our, our archers here. Where is he? Because you guys might be able to actually catch him. You guys actually have ammo too. So try and catch him if you can. Pretty much everybody try and catch the general's bodyguard. I want to try and get him if we can. Almost had him. Technically, this unit should be able to catch up to them, but they're not. So, he's going to get away, sadly. Um, casualty is not that bad. Honestly, not that bad. Could have been a hell of a lot worse with the units that they have. 
My volunteers did some of the most damage possible. There we go. Not bad. So now we're going <laughs> to keep losing. This is also the reason why so many of my armies like get really heavy in um, archers. <laughs> is because my archers barely take any damage, but my infantry always does. So like right now, I now I need reinforcements. I, I am finishing some stuff up in Anna and Rod. They'll keep making their way over this way. Um, honestly, I might... I almost want to. I could have this army make their way back towards um, Kazadum East. Have them help with that army that I know is about to try and siege. Or I could just have them go towards Methelberg. I could try and do that. Methelberg does not look like it has all that much up there. Um, as long as we don't go towards, like, uh, Goblin Town itself, I think. This army, even with uh, the amount of damage it has, I think will still be able to do quite a bit. So I think keeping you around here is probably for the best, actually. I do just need more reinforcements is the thing. I've got two more units coming um, right here. It's so, like you two can join on in. There's another infantry unit, another archer unit. And then that will give us a little bit more staying power as we kind of make my way up here to try and take you guys out. Reinforcements have arrived. There we go. Also, we should be getting a unit technically as well. What did I get? Did I get a unit? Oh, I didn't technically get a unit. Or no, no, we just got more airborne infantry. Nice. That's not bad. Um, also, now I can retrain these guys. Now that we've been able to actually finish that building. Perfect. Um, also, I do want to make sure that before I forget, I um, let's do this. So, yeah, you come down here. Much. And I'll switch I you out so you can be retrained. Much. And then I need to have it so that um, it was... Like you four? I saw it. I yeah, I think it was these four. I think it was these four that were going to be sent over. So we're going to send you guys over to Kestum West. I want to try and get you guys to Kestum East, I, I, actually. Because then I can send out some reinforcements next turn. You guys actually didn't get any closer right now, so that's good. That allows me to get closer to my uh, my targets now. Still no more snares. Okay, I at least have these units too. So I'll grab you guys. I'll be able to keep moving up next turn. Um, probably take you out. Oh, fucking Flame Wrangler. As long as I can take that out. Also, how's the military been doing with uh, goblin the goblins? So their military actually hasn't changed much. Mine has gone up, but theirs has not gone down all that much, which is kind of concerning. That's okay, though. But uh, you go down the air we find now. I'm a little worried that you're not going to be able to like, actually get to Kazadoom East right now. Um, I would say for you guys... Also, it does make sure I have another free upkeep unit now there. Do that, too. Um, I just really want you guys to get the Mithra Mines. I just don't have enough money for that right now. I'm probably going to need you to do the Grain Exchange for now, yeah. I, I'm trying to slowly but surely save up my money. That's also going to make me another 200 gold, so this easily pays for itself in two turns. Um, other than that, we then also, yeah, Zagkala finished their pub. Let's have you get the Feast Hall so you will reduce the costs for things, and then I'll probably start getting you your mine upgrade after that. Let's see. So, hmm. Candace lost their thing. That's interesting. Um, that's besieged once again. Run the Ring has been located. Okay, it's at. Ooh, that's really close to me. That's so close to me. So I'm besieged. So Kazdoom West is now sieged, actually, now at this point. I'm not too worried about you guys. Uh, with the, the size of this army that you guys have, you as uh, in comparison, like, also, like, what I've got here, I think it's okay. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I still want to be able to get that catapult. It finishes next turn. Um, I think we're going to be okay of not sending you guys over here to help out with you. I think for right now, you're good there. Ooh, that you might actually try and siege me there. But then we're also sieged at Fenholm right now. So you guys have got the remnants of that army. Interesting. Like, how much is in that army? That is 162 guys. There's another Flame Wrangler in there still. Okay, so I can't sell you out of that. Uh, still no Cav. Okay. So, I'm gonna stick you. I want to kill this army, but I also want to get you guys to push off the city. Mm. Right. So you guys are making your way back. That army is still chilling, right? Um, Kazadoom East, I think what I'm going to do here is okay. I'm going to send all of these guys all out. Right. Um, I'm going to put you under all the bridge more. right now. Because I wonder if you guys are going to try and attack us during the turn, but I think I can send you guys out, start trying to send you guys over there to join on in, help out. Probably should have sent some of these guys over, but I think that's okay. I do think what we need to do right now, though, is I want to kill. I want to make my way over to Goblin Town. Fenholm can't really defend itself. Arrowy has been pretty safe for the most part, and you're going to finish your walls next turn, so that's good. Um, I think. I 
I don't want to lose this one general. I, I do want to kill this army. So let me I'm going to kill this army first. Then we'll try and see if we have enough movement to get close enough to Fenholm that they'll fuck off. That is entirely possible that that will happen. Oh my god, is every single army going to have a Flame Wrangler now? Can we not, please? I don't want to continuously have to fight Flame Wranglers because, oh my god, this is so bad. At least right now, I do have my Ballistas. My Ballistas can it actually snipe them. They are able to snipe the Flame Wranglers, do a decent amount of damage to them. But still, uh, they do occasionally get shots off, which kind of is what concerns me usually. So let's group you guys up, missed one of you, group you guys up, you guys up, and then you all together, and then kind of, yeah, split them, uh, just, yeah, divide these guys up, try and have it so we spread out. I'm gonna hope that we can snipe the good thing, but I'm not gonna rely on it, so we'll try and have it so you guys spread up here a little bit, right there, 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 all of you two together at least, and you like, kind of there, archers spread out a little bit more. Start the battle. They are way far back here. Okay, so we'll have to take some time to make my way over, but that does at least mean we're not going to be sniped and shot at immediately. God, it always gives you a fucking heart attack seeing them trying to shoot my guys here. So we've been able to take out one of the Flame Wranglers so far, trying to still get around here to be able to hit them. So you guys are still trying to run over here. Um, I'm hoping that maybe we'll just be able to snipe it before we can get there, because like at the moment it's taking my, me a while to get around my elites. Number wise, they've lost 20% of their forces so far, so not bad. Some of you guys, oh god, that's a really bad shot. Okay, kind of did some damage. Not a ton though. We're almost up here. Just get on up here. Just get on up this hill, because we're almost to the flame wrangler. Okay, two have been destroyed so far. If we can get rid of one more, I should be okay. Okay, we've been able to take out the Flame Wranglers. Now we're trying to see if I can get in melee with the Ballistas. So at the moment right now, yeah, you're just trying to get in melee with them. Number-wise, they've lost about 40% of their forces. This is also led by Captain, so I'm expecting some of them to start breaking pretty quickly here soon. Archers are good as you eyes are. I'm going to move you up a little bit closer. Ballista probably can actually have you stop firing at this point. I don't really need you to. God, I hate having absolutely no cav. I was able to take out their general. Their captain is dead, but I was not able to get the magic 85. They're so close. That's okay, though. Um, I do kind of hate how my axe guard is getting really low. You guys did a good amount of damage. I'm probably going to send you guys back towards Kazadoom East right now as well. Because I think I should be able to retrain those guys in the... Um, I think at the way station. I think I do remember it saying axe guard of Erebor in there. So I'm going to try and see if I can send those guys back, have it so that we can actually retrain them over there. It doesn't, also, it doesn't look like I had any new units from going to the Iron Hills. I think it is just those three unit types that I can get uh, access from the other dwarves, which I still appreciate. Um, but I do think we're going to have to send this guy back. I do think we'll have to. It would be nice because I don't think I can actively recruit Axe Guard. He did survive, but he took a lot of damage. So right there, push that back. Yeah, he's at five dudes. So you, yeah, you're, you're gonna pull, pull back. I'm gonna pull you back this way. I'll group you up in airway with these guys as well. Same kind of idea. And then I can barely almost get here. Okay, so merge those men together. Um, you should, pr I'm expecting you to back off. I'm expecting you to back off. I've done enough damage, which uh, should probably push you guys back. But let me double check. So if I go back over here, Way station doesn't say Axe Guard of... I don't see Axe Guard. I don't see the Axe Guard. Am I not able to retrain this unit? I want to retrain this unit. And like this one... Oh, wait, no. Uh, King's Axes and uh, Blackrock Engineers are in here. But I don't see Axe Guard. Can I not get the Axe Guard? Seriously? Not like... Let me check. Let me check. Because I know you can also get a way station up here. No, I don't see the Axe Guard. I'm so sad. I like this unit. It works really well with my Reclaimers and everybody. But that's a shame. Oh, I forgot you guys even had the garrison building set up here. Oh, you're fine. Okay, I'm still worried about that damn Flame Wrangler. But everything else is not that bad. So we're going to fight this. We're going to fight this. I was kind of wondering if you guys are just going to pull back or not because my army's right there. But no, you guys are going to attack us. 
I think what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna hold up in the city center, and I'm gonna spread out. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send my general around to try and go kill the Flame Wrangler. So it sends you over here. So you're gonna be over here. You guys are going to be just spread out. Kinda have it so you're back here. Want to make it so that Flame Wrangler has to get closer to us? Because I it, once that thing is dead, that's the only thing that actually matters. Then we are fine. So they're going to try and either... Are you going to use your ram? Uh, no. Oh, are you going to try and break walls with the Flame Wrangler? Oh my god, just waste your ammo then. Yeah, completely waste your ammo. Uh, no, never mind, I'm just going to sit back here. I'm going to sit back here and wait until you run out of ammo. Okay, they're finally in. Now we're going to have it, so let's uh, focus all of our attention onto them. Uh, get all of my men primarily trying to group up here if we can. You guys should win that fight, given just how many more numbers we have over them. And my bodyguard is strong enough. I think just even my bodyguard versus their bodyguard, he wins. Actually, stat wise Oh, yeah, no, there's that 20 armor. Stat-wise, it's actually kind of comparable, but, like, hey. Push on here with the Zenith Guard. Slaughter the archers. You guys are doing fine over here. Yeah, the Overseers are almost dead. Once they're dead, all of you guys kind of come around the backside here and try and flank. They're actually ignoring me. Interesting. Yeah, go for the archers. You're almost done over there. Yeah, he's down to one guy. He should be dead any second. And then I'll have you go for the goblins. Number-wise, they've lost a third of their army already. There you go. Flame Wrangler is there. Yeah, you guys are out of ammo. Perfect. And now it's just the general. You got away from me once. You're not getting away again. So just bringing my other unit over here, because this is literally the only unit that's left now at this point. And as soon as you surround him, I expect him to break, honestly. Because given the fact that I've got so many dwarves here, there's no way he's getting away this time. He's down to one guy. Just the one. Perfect. So... Now we've been able to finally kill him off. It's good to know that Fenholm already has the defensive structure built up. So I don't have to worry about you guys as much as I thought I did. I, I kind of forgot that you guys uh, might have already had that. I know we don't have it in Arrowy, so that area does need to get their garrison still built up. But it's nice to know that you guys do at least have one right here. So we still need to keep trying to focus on um, building up the culture around here and getting actual troops around this area so we can have a proper garrison on top of this as well. But, it does make me feel a little bit better, as long as it's not a full-stack army of uh, goblins. I, I can actually hold this. I can hold this a little bit better than uh, what I was initially expecting. And of course, they decided to just re-siege it once again. I'm not talking to Angmar. No. I wouldn't maybe mind getting map information from you guys at some point if I can. You know what? Yeah, because we got my diplomat around here. Still gotta go to Booz of Doom at some point. But you know what? Let's Why not? Let's see, where where was it? This one I don't mind, because I can at least try and get map information, possibly. Oh, they've got Hobbiton. <laughs> oh, seriously? They already have Hobbiton. Oh, God. You guys are just getting your asses kicked, as always. Okay. So, Fenholm is siege once again. I'm expecting you to run. Wow, you're not going to? Really? This is not an amazing army. I don't have any reinforcements around here right now yet, because you guys are just all trying to gather around Arrowy. Arrowy now at least has the walls. I appreciate that. So for you guys here, ooh, I can upgrade your guild, guild house once more. I kind of want to, honestly. Yeah, just to make it so we have even better uh, building uh, time to recruit build stuff. So let's get the better stone uh, masons how guild house there. You guys, I would say... Okay, I don't like that you guys are just still sieging us. You're not actually... Ooh, there's the first legion. I can now recruit some. God, I want all these damn units. Um, I do have that catapult done. I can't get that into Kazdoom West just right now. So, for you guys here... Um, pig farm. I'm probably gonna... Oh, actually, I'm just gonna get the better market again. Because I just want to keep trying to improve my economy around here the best I can. So, let's have you grab that. Then I'll have you grab some men around here that I'm probably gonna have help out with uh, Kazdoom West. I do think... Okay, so I want to fight you... Yeah, this army should be able to beat you guys, even without a General's Bodyguard, I would say. Um, and then we also want to fight this over here. So, again, no mercenaries. I wish you guys had mercenaries. They just really don't want to let me get past here, do they? It's kind of a pain in the ass. But okay, let's fight... Um, actually, if we fight you... Yeah, if we fight you... I don't get my reinforcing army, but that's okay. The thing I want to do about this, though, is it makes it so I can just slaughter you guys as soon as you get on the map. So that way you guys will be kind of up in the upper right corner right there. I'll just put my entire army over there, focus on them, and then just slaughter them as they make their way onto the map. Then this other army is 
not that hard. They'll be easy to deal with. This just means, like, as long as it's set up properly... Yep! So the enemy reinforcements should be right over here. So we'll go over to the corner. And then we're going to just get all of you guys set up. All of my infantry set up. I am starting to run low on my guard units here, which kind of sucks. My elites. I'm just running low on everything, honestly. But, you know, let's have you guys group up over here. You guys on the left side. You guys on the right side. And then Ballista probably don't really need you. Yeah, you can just aim towards the enemy army. And then the we will... Reinforcements. Yeah, they're just running right up here. So let's get you guys to run straight on up. You guys right over here. And then you guys probably kind of over here. And then Archer's probably just a little bit closer so you can actually shoot them a little bit easier. Yeah, hi guys! <laughs> Welcome to the party where I'm just going to camp you as you make your way onto the map. Uh, so yeah, you guys need to kind of run over here if you can to deal with these Snogus Archers, the Skirmishers, as soon as they're on the map. Number wise, oh look at that, 5% are already dead. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. Slowly but surely, it's just ticking up in my favor. Because you guys are right up in melee with me, you can't run away from this, and I have absolute superiority in stats. And there we go. So we killed the captain, the rest of them are now finally running now at this point in time. So this is like the main blob that's still alive. Everything else is pretty much broken. So I'll teach you guys to help out with the Snaga Stalkers over there. Uh, these guys are now running off the map. So we were able to kill at least two-thirds of the enemy army. Wasn't able to take out everybody. But hey, that's pretty good. Uh, makes it so we can slaughter them. Now we just need to focus on the other force here. So I'll get all of my guys to adjust and wait for this other army, which is slowly but surely making its way over to us. There we go. They're now trying to get in melee here. Not going to work all that well. Uh, my elites, let's have at least have you try and help out with this cav, because these guys are running on in, doing a bit of damage the there. Yeah, try and focus them yeah, down. The Most of these are, like, they've got one skirmisher, one infantry unit right here. I'm gonna try and see if I can get around them to actually get the Magic 85 with you guys here, because I still miss cav, and that's even one of the main reasons why I was suggested I should try and take the anti wound Veil, as it might give me a really good access to, um, a bunch of mercenaries. General's dead. Uh, we can maybe just, like, continue for a little bit longer. How some of you guys are running? Uh, oh no, you guys are out of ammo. Never mind, I was going to say, if you guys can get another shot off or two. But there we go. So, now I've been able to eliminate all of these guys. Only got 80-73%, so they're going to actually technically still survive, but there we go. Now they have been pushed back off of Fenholm once again. Now I want to try and do that one fight uh, down by Kazadoom East. Because I want to try and push across the bridge, bring those reinforcements up this way, and then keep making my- I want to get to Goblin Town. We've been slaughtering so many goblins today that they just keep harassing me in a way that's like, Oh, I want to go here, but it's like, no, you have to defend Fenholm. It's like, okay, I guess. It is, once I get that uh, like half stack of units, I think we can then just fully go all in on taking Goblin Town. Because I want to take Goblin Town, then Methelberg, then Anduin's, uh, um, I'm sorry, uh, Bjorn's Hall, sorry, in that order. He has been pushed back, Fenholm here, and you guys are about to finish this up. Um, you, at least you have the set of first level, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, culture-wise, you're at 16%, so we can almost get troops around here soon. Uh, if you get this first, merge them together, I'm still down, let's see, so like, these guys here... I'm going to send you guys to go be retrained as well, so go down there. Because I'm slowly just losing men here, which I don't appreciate. But yeah, you guys here, you're going to fight us. Uh, I should be okay, number-wise. My infantry is not insane, but I do have a decent amount of archers, about half and half. Yeah, that, that's not that bad. So, let's fight this, push you guys back, and then I can send these eight units up as reinforcements to me. Hopefully it won't take them that long to catch up to us. And then we can make my way over to Goblin Town. And perfect, this army is going to advance on into us right now, immediately. Perfect. Because I do have, they have a lot of just basic goblins here. They didn't have any cav, they do have some wargs though, so that is a bit of an issue. Um, I only see the one archer, yeah, just the one archer. Actually, I'm just going to probably just try and send one of you guys into melee with them, actually. Because if we can get in melee with those guys, and then just let my archers unload, that'd be perfect. Pikes, uh, I'll have you guys kind of slowly make your way up as well. Okay, we've engaged them with my melee. Um, I'm going to have it so that at the moment right now, you guys are trying to focus over here. You guys are trying to focus over here. And ideally, number-wise, it is ticking up in our favor. Yes, a little bit surely. 30% of their forces have now died at this point in time. 
Um, their archers are down to only about 40-ish guys. Not that bad. So soon we won't have to worry about you guys all that much. They might actually just break in a second or two. Ooh, you took a lot of damage. Yeah, you're taking a lot of damage over there. I don't appreciate that. I might have to wait for more reinforcements to make their way up with you guys. Because I'm going to send these guys up. But I was trying to send them up with uh, more infantry. And you slaughtered all the infantry in this army, basically. Okay, we were able to barely get the Magic 85 there. Did lose my captain. They did lose theirs as well, though. I'd say that's okay. Um, I'm probably going to have it, though. So we're going to pull back and retrain these guys. I can send some of the archers, but, like, my infantry, that was the sole point of wanting to send these guys up, is, hey, Bala needs more infantry. I have plenty of archers in his army. I don't need more archers. Like, I'm not even trying to recruit a bunch of archers right now. I'm trying to focus on more infantry. So we'll try and send some of the uh, my more elite units, like my Deeping Guard, I'd probably say in return. So we'll send these guys back to be retrained. Send my Deeping Guard and all the other units that I had sitting in Kazadoom East that are free upkeep. Send them up towards Goblin Town. And then I should be okay, I would say. Because let's see, actually, those guys. Yeah, you guys just took way too goddamn much damage. So let's just say, so yeah, look at that. There's like seven guys here. Just take all of you out. You go into Kazadoom East, and then just we'll retrain all of these guys here because you guys took a lot of damage. Let's grab that one. Um, you guys make your way up this way. So these units here, uh, join down with Balan, needs two more turns, and then he'll be good. Let's see, how are you guys doing there? I want to see your military start dropping. Nope, it's just staying pretty damn stagnant there. I think at least. I'm hoping I'm accurate in this assessment. I think I will make my way up towards Methoberg. I want to go on the offensive. I don't want to just keep being on the uh, defensive here and just keep taking stuff, uh, uh, attacking you guys here. So let's try and hit Methoberg here. You're trying to bring reinforcements up right now. Um, this area will soon be able to start building up more military units around here as well. I need to send all of these guys also over towards Kazadoom, trying to retrain these units. I really do want to focus on the idea of retraining units more as the dwarves. It just feels, it feels right to focus on that as opposed to just, oh, slaughter, like, hey, yeah, my guys all died. Let me just recruit more men to replace them. No. I, I, I want to actually care about the units I have with me and keep retraining them to get them really high experience. Alrighty, you guys are going to actually finally assault uh, Kazadoom West once again. Uh, bounce power-wise, not the worst. They do have quite a few of the Orthodon God and some of their elites. That does kind of concern me. Um, I do have some Reclaimers, which is really nice. And for the most part, I think we should be okay, especially with the Defenders here. We're going to set on up near the city center, for the most part. And uh, it'll, this should hopefully be the last defense we have to do without a, a piece of uh, Catapults. Because once I have a Catapult in here... Oh my god, am I going to start slaughtering armies as they try and make their way on in here. So we'll set on up back here. I would say that'd be the best way for us to kind of go about this. So we'll want to have you guys kind of on this choke point. Everybody on the city center, basically. So all of you guys back here. Start the battle. Get you guys to yeah, kind of form on up here. And then I'll actually want you guys to have a shield wall on. Actually, no. Last time you guys put shield wall on, you kind of just pushed on in here and stopped doing things. So let's kind of do uh, this this and then i'll have it so that what we want to do is archers are going to be kind of off to the side here because i expect them to kind of push through us and once they do i want to have you guys off to the side here to be able to unload into them uh turns fire will off initially reclaimers you're going to be back here and then i'm going to have some infantry here here and then my general back here off to a pretty good start, I'd say. So we've been able to take out 15% of their forces already at this point in time. Um, this is without their elites getting here. Uh, and who is the captain once again? This one is one of you guys. I'm going to try and have it so that like, I save you for the elites. Because I definitely want you to try and throw stuff at the wardens and the crossbows. Because you guys have a lot of armor. So I'm not going to be able to do much with my basic archers. And you're going to be the ones needing to do that. Okay, we pretty much whittled them down to just their elites now. I am able to now actually throw stuff with the Reclaimers, doing some good damage to the Orthang Guard and everything there. I've taken out half their army so far, and I d uh, right now, you guys are holding up amazingly well here. Like, you guys are not letting them through here. You're not killing a lot of them, but they are not budging a goddamn inch, just as dwarves should. Okay, we've actually now been able to take out the enemy general. We captured him. Now all that is left is the Orthang Guard, who is about to break. 
and try and see if we can get my general, maybe, to go around the flank on the side. And, oh, they're breaking. Oh, they're running towards me. Oh, that's beautiful. And then what's in the back here? So in the back here, that's another one of them. Uh, currently, they're trying to shoot me, but uh, the battle, the battle the, is almost over. So I can just wait, I'd say. I don't feel the need to specifically rush up it and try and kill you guys if I don't need to. But there we go. We have now been able to hold. And next time they assault the city, they're going to be in for a rude awakening because I'm now going to have a catapult in here. I can't wait for that. One of my guys did take quite a bit of damage, not surprised by that. They did hold really well, though. I really appreciate the uh, stats of uh, dwarves for some melee. They always have feel so great to play with. So now, we just need to get that catapult on over here. We're sending reinforcements over right now, so we can probably properly make our way over to deal with the goblins. Part of me wants to be able to just rush over there now. I want to take Goblin Town. I, want it, I, I don't like that I haven't taken a single damn city today, and we've just been on the defensive. But we have killed, like, what? Uh, two, three... At least two full-stack armies, right? Of goblins? Maybe three? I can't remember. Um, so we've done some good damage to them, but it's like... God damn it. No, fuck you! I want a catapult in there! They heard me talking shit. They they realize. Oh wait, if we let if we let them actually do this, they're gonna have a catapult here soon. Probably gonna take the guys out of Casa Doom East and just push them back because I don't want to deal with that army. Eric Herr Andros has been uh, attacked again. Mordor Supreme. God damn, just every good guy faction is doing horrendous right now. I hate it. <sighs> okay, you guys around here. So at the moment we're at eighteen percent. I'm gonna say let's start trying to upgrade. Do we just need to finish that in time? I don't think so. Let's, get, let's try and upgrade the. Well, no, we can do this. Get the get the practice range. Then we'll try. will start like start this up. Get two turns in, and then uh, if it's not ready by the time we're one turn away, we'll then switch over to building the pub up. But it does seem like they fucked off and they're letting me do something, so I can actually push on into Methelburg. I don't have enough movement to get to Goblin Town, but I can at least take a city from the goblins. Oh my god, can you stop? Stop, let me hit you the way I want to. Uh, they just, I just hate until I take this damn city. They're not going to stop sending troops down to Khazad Okay. Well, first and foremost, let's take these guys. Uh, I'm going to take all of you out. Let's get you just in range. Just barely in range to help out. So I don't think we have to worry about this. Oh, hey, Dale Merchant Cav! Oh, yes, please. Uh, you, actually... Go join up with these guys. Because I want some damn cav in my army again up here. Because I hate how you guys have been doing that recently. Go down to Arrowy because that army's coming down south. So you'll make your way up around this way. I need to upgrade the roads around there at some point. Um, but let's see. So if I take you guys... This should be fine. I can actually fight it. I don't want to... Just wait for the reinforce. Just have it so that you go back into Kazdum East. Wait until we can actually get some reinforcements there. Um, I should honestly maybe just have it so I can get you the catapult. Because we've got the catapult here. It's waiting. You can't fucking use it though. Um, okay, well, let me do this. I want to have it so let's take Methelburg here. So we're going to take this city here. This is not that bad. They've just got, yeah, two units, some garrisons. I'm going to push on in here. Let's have this be the last thing we do for today. So... We've at least, we're right on the doorstep of the goblins. And I'm hoping that maybe they'll realize, hey, we should stop trying to attack Kazadoom East. We should try and maybe, do, I don't know, defend Goblin Town. Probably not. I just need a full stack and then I'll feel safe attacking it. So let's have you guys group up a little bit more. Archers group up. Honestly, we might just be shooting their troops as they're like just sitting in the city, honestly. So start the battle there. You guys start trying to break down the gates, and then I can group all my other guys up. I literally have two units of infantry in here. And of course you guys are actually selling out of the city gates, interestingly enough. Okay, um, got you guys at least over here. These guys were able to get in melee. Let's try and send you over there to help out. Uh, Ballistas now keep trying to unload on the gates, try and break that down. It's almost broken, but if they keep to stop walking through it as soon as I start unloading into it. Yeah, because, like, these guys are breaking. Good amount of damage there. Um, archers, hey, you're fine there. You guys have been doing some really good damage. So far, they've lost 40% of their force. Let's get you guys. See if you can try and run some of them down before they get back inside. 
Ballista, they've now closed the gates. Now properly unload on it again. Because this only needs a couple more... Stop opening the fucking gates as soon as I try to make my way over. Okay, no need to break the walls if we can just rush on through. So, Stark and Melee with their crossbows. This is one of the few units they have that can actually do a decent amount of damage if we let them just unload. Most of their army is already dead at this point. 75% are out of the way. And then uh, they've just got the missile cav there. And then remnants of the defenders, which should not be that hard given how many of them we've slaughtered already. Also, I think you're the captain? No, actually. Uh, the captain is actually this guy. So I'm going to try and hit you with my ballista while you're just sitting there. And there we go. So at least we've now been able to take one city from the goblins today. Um, I will probably have it so that that force outside of Kazadoom West right now... I do think I'm going to have to actively like fight them next video. I, I don't think I can just let them siege there and uh, wait maybe one, two, maybe three turns before they actually assault. I think what we can do, though, just to make it a bit easier... Um, I'll have to double check this before we're done for today. Um, I believe I can grab my forces that are in the fort. And uh, if I'm having them like right next to... I think I'd have them like directly south or directly north of the army sieging us. And then they should be able to help. Um, and then that will mean we have just a little bit more to be able to kind of push on in and deal with them. So here, sack the region in this area for now. And then, oh, I can upgrade this. Upgrade the walls. So also do want to get the culture built up there. Yeah, let's get the let's get the culture stuff done because it looks like you guys already have your um, guilds built up right now. So it's actually a little bit. I will need to get rid of the ward breeder at some point. Um, so you guys do have reduced costs and time to build stuff. Yeah, you have at least have the first level. Um, perfect. So what we'll probably do is so let me just check this before we're done because I want to see. I saw Because you. We march to battle. No. I am not able to get those guys to help out because the only areas I can go are here and here. And technically, I need to be here or here. So, I will not be able to bring you guys in unless I attack from this angle. Then I'm going to get these reinforcements. I I probably have to, I'm honestly probably going to have to like throw these guys in there too. If I throw those guys in there as well, then that will be fine. It's not an amazing army. These guys are good. These guys are good. They have one cab unit. But I just can't let them just siege me like this. I just can't. You know, Fenholm, you've been able to finally get that stuff. We already dealt with that. But I do think for right now, we'll be done for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts I have on it in general, but this is Rampane. I'll see you guys next time.